We've been calling on Temple to raise minimum wage for all workers and um, represent poor people, working class people who are struggling um, to pay for school or to work for this school. And you know, they've ignored us. The president, the board has ignored us for nearly a year, refused to meet with us. And then suddenly they announced that they have plans to build a $100 million stadium in the middle of North Philadelphia, um, which is you know a lot of people's homes that you know they don't want to move out of their homes for this stadium to be built here. I'm from Philadelphia, North Philly, lived here for 56 years all my life, and I don't agree with the things that Temple have done in the neighborhood. I don't begrudge them a stadium, but it's just like where? It's just out of the question. With a 40,000 seat stadium, can you imagine the size and area that it would take up? It's going to displace people's homes, and not to mention there's a playground over there. They have to wipe out the playground. Plenty of kids and people play basketball. There's a swimming pool over there. What's going to happen to that? And if we don't put a foot down and say fight this now before we you know we turn around one day and look up and our grandkids won't have a place to live here. Would you mind explaining uh, <laughs> people gathered here or a representative well, of Temple Security already, already to explain why yeah, and already to the press to. why I already they already not get in? Why not all of us? Because it's a capacity yeah, There are members of the community who why? would like to go in. Okay, it's a capacity issue. We have five going so, so how do you decide who gets to go in if we don't all get to go in? You guys can decide. Well, this meeting and so if you decided to have it here, if Temple decided to have it here, then we expect to be let in. represent the people in the 2200 block of 18th Street. I want to know what's going on. Good. You deserve to know what's going on. So she can be right in.